Hello everyone, welcome back to you can automate. Till now we have seen how to install the APK, how to set up the Android emulator and how to set up the APM inspector and we have launched one of the app in one of the Android emulator also. In this session we are going to start with the automation that is mobile automation and we are going to use a tool called WebDriver IO with the APM. WebDriver IO is an automation tool based on JavaScript and on top of that we are adding an APM service. APM service is because we need to automate the mobile device, right? We need to automate some of the mobile app. That's why we are going to use a APM as a service to this WebDriver IO. So let's begin with that. So first what we need to do here is we need to open the command prompt and here we need to create the WDIO project that is WebDriver IO uh, project, right? To start with that. What I'm going to do here I'm going to create one of the directory called fresh directory whichever location you want you can just go and create your project directory I'm going to create a web driver IO mobile and iPhone test this is my project name you can give any name whatever you want it once I create the project directory I need to get into that to get into that I will be using a command called cd web driver io mobile test okay and here i need to first set up the node.js right to set up the node.js i need to use a command called npm init hyphen y so this is to set up the node.js so that whatever the project which we are going to work on this is based on javascript for javascript we require a node.js that's why we are going to do a npm init hyphen y this will create a particular json file called package.json and this is all the details it will have by default it will have all these details okay the next thing what we need to do here is npm install wdio at wdio slash cli so once we install once we set up the node.js we need to install the web driver io right we need to set up the web driver or your command line interface cli means command line interface so that's why i'm using this particular command to install web driver io to set up the web driver io project as it is npm based as it is based on node.js everything will happen on the command base so it is very easy to set up so it will take some time to uh, set up the WDIO project here, right? Setup is done. Now if you do ls here, you will get uh, package.json and node modules and uh, inside this you will be having all the details. So we are going to work on this particular project, right? Cool. Now after creating a folder and after installing, after setting up the WebDriver IO, we need to configure that particular WebDriver IO. What we need to do here is npm wdio config. This is to configure all the required dependency whatever we need it for our automation. Say for example, I need a APM service. As I am using a web driver IO, I need an APM service, right? That APM service I will be going to add here. So all these details I am going to mention by using a wdio config command, right? This will help us to set up all the configuration whatever is required for automation. I am just going to hit enter here. Right. Okay, there is some uh, issue looks like npm. Okay, now it is not a npm, it is a npx. npx wdio config. So here it starts asking uh, several details here. If you observe, So first it is asking that uh, where should I install this, where should I uh, do this configuration. It is on my local machine. I am just hitting enter here, nothing else. And next it is asking which framework I am going to use, right? Which framework do you want to use? As of now it is highlighting Mocha, so I am going with this Mocha only, okay? Then it is asking do you want to use a compiler, so I am just saying uh, no, whatever default has come, I am just hitting enter no 
and then it is asking where are your test space uh, specs located right so by default it will give this particular path i'm just going to hit enter so that uh, the same thing will be maintained here then it is asking do you want web driver io to auto generate some test files right by web driver io it will give some uh, auto generated test file i don't want that i'm just entering a n here and hitting enter and here it is asking which reporter do you want to use whether you want to use a spec reporter or dot reporter or all the different types of reporting tools are available so as of now i'm going with the spec reporter whatever is the default it is given i'm just going to provide the same thing here so i'm just hitting enter here so next it is asking that do you want to add a plugin to your test setup right i'm not looking for any plugin here i'm just hitting enter here so next thing what it is asking is do you want to add a service to your test setup so here by default it is selected chrome driver setup but here we are going to work on apm we are going to use uh, apm for our mobile testing right that's why we don't want this chrome driver we need a apm to first uh, deselect this chrome driver uh, just press space so that this particular chrome driver will be deselected then just use your uh, arrow keys and go down and here you'll be having a service called apm right this is what we require for our mobile testing so then just press space here it will be selected right and hit enter then what is the base url so right now i'm not looking for any base url so i'm just hitting enter and uh, do you want me to run npm install yes to set up all the dependencies whatever we have added we need to run npm install right and uh, that's why i'm entering a y here and hit enter so it will take some time to configure your uh, web driver io project so if you observe here it is uh, saying that it is installing these all details local runner mocha framework reporter right and apm service these all configurations will be added in your web driver io project now it is done with all the configuration package is installed successfully right now if i do ls here if you observe one more file got added that is wdio configuration.js this is the main file now this is about setting up the uh, web driver io project now we can directly go to our visual studio editor so this is a visual studio code editor and here i am going to open the project whatever i have created right till now we have created a web driver io project and when we did some configuration right i'm going to open that particular folder here i'm going to go for this file open and uh, i'm selecting a web driver io mobile test so once once i open the web driver io mobile test here this is how it looks right so it will have wdio conf.js and it will have a package.json right this is what it will show after opening this particular uh, project here what we need to do we need to just go to terminal here and click on terminal right here we need to install one of the driver that is a ui automator apm driver install ui automator 2 so it is saying that a driver named ui automator is already installed if it is not installed in your system then it will install freshly this is very important to start with the mobile automation as this driver is already installed it is saying that it is already installed and uh, now coming to the configuration here let's open the package.json here so here if you observe uh, wdio apm service got added here and this is a main service which will uh, help us to automate the mobile devices right and other detail other dependencies whatever we have added it is just added here okay now if you go to uh, wdio conf.js here and this is a port on which our apm inspector and apm server will run so that's why it has added some port here by default it will be a 4723 
and you can change it to 4724 also there is no problem here right and uh, now if you come to specs this is the default uh, path which is saying that this is where our test will be located and it has added some default path if you come to capabilities so this capabilities is very important here we are going to add all the desired capabilities whatever we had added in the our apm inspector so i'm just going to delete all the details whatever is given here okay and open your apm inspector so if you go to uh, apm inspector it will show all the details whatever we have added before right so if you see here platform name platform version device name everything will be shown here and by using this we have uh, launched the android emulator and we have installed uh, apk file in our mobile device right the android emulator so now we are going to use this particular json file so this is giving in a form of json file right we are going to use this particular uh, json content directly i'm copying from here and uh, i'm going to my visual studio code editor here and pasting it here okay so here we have added platform name platform version device name app automation name app package and app activity and here if you observe app is taking from some hard coded path right here i don't want to do that i am going to remove this hard coded path from my system then what i'm going to do at the project level i'm going to create one folder called app inside app i'm going to create another folder called android inside android i'm going to put my apk file so i'm just opening my downloaded folder here i'm just moving this mintra.apk into my android folder so now i'm going to have my apk file within my project itself right now i need to provide that path here so how i'm going to provide a path here is if you observe i need to provide the path from this particular project directory to do that what i'm going to do just go to top of this web driver configuration.js file say cons path equals to require inside this you mention path right this will help me to get the uh, apk file path okay i'm just going to use this particular variable here and uh, this is how it looks i'm going to my app path here and here i'm going to use this path dot join and inside the bracket i'm going to provide that process dot current working directory cwd means current working directory bracket and comma here i am going to provide the path of my mintra.apk that is inside app right and then inside app i have a android folder android folder inside that i have a mintra.apk right this is my path of apk file so i am going to add the complete path here so dynamically it will take wherever it is so if i'm if i'm moving this particular project to some other place some other directory then also this will work because wherever it is located it will take the current working directory and followed by it will take this particular path with respect to the project then change your port to 4724 or you can keep it for 4723 also then i'm going to add my test case what i test case i'm going to add here is i'm just going to create one folder called test right inside test i have given a path as specs okay let me create a specs here and inside that it is given star star so i'm just going to provide that uh, mobile test right and inside mobile test i'm going to create a uh, one file called my first test dot js right so this is what my test case is here i'm not going to write any test case here just i'm going to write a it block here so that it will launch my apk file in the android emulator and it 
by that we'll come to that whether our configuration is working fine or not so that we can go ahead and start with the actual automation so to write any it block what i'm going to do i'm going to write a describe method here first describe so i'm going to write some uh, name here sample test So inside this, I'm going to write a it block, right? It block says that this is my first mobile test. Okay. And it is a async function. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to add anything here. What it means is whenever this particular test case will be executed, before that it has to do all these things whatever we have mentioned here it has to move this apk file into our android emulator it has to do all the configuration whatever we have specified right so to check that whether configuration is working fine or not we have just added a empty test so that will we can confirm that okay our every configuration is correct so i'm clearing my terminal here and running my test how do i run npx wdio so if you see it is showing all the desired capabilities whatever we have added uh, that means that it is going to configure all the things whatever we have added and now i have opened the android emulator also side by side to see what is happening here so it has pushed the apk file into android emulator and it has launched the mintra app also right so it has launched and immediately this particular test case got completed because we haven't added anything uh, any code into our test case that's why this test case is completed just by launching the apk in our android emulator so this means that our configuration everything is working fine and we are ready to go with our actual automation so this is how we can uh, set up the web driver io project for apm to automate the mobile test by adding all the details. So in the next session, we are going to learn more about uh, mobile test, how to deal with the different uh, web elements, and we are going to learn many things there. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video.